Federal immigration reform is taking center stage in Wisconsin. State farming groups are joining a national movement to allow foreign workers to work on farms year-round. Now, opponents of the plan say establishing a guest worker program may solve worker shortages for farmers, but is not in the nation's best interests. More often than not, it's, you know, Hispanic people stopping looking for the job. Most of Brickstead Dairy's employees hail from Mexico. They're paid anywhere from eight fifty to $16 an hour. They're very reliable. Um, we're currently looking for two positions to fill here on the dairy, and we're having a tough time doing it. Industry leaders say it's often difficult to find and maintain a strong workforce in Wisconsin. They had not enough local qualified workers apply for farm jobs. We struggle to find employees, so we try to uh, bring in labor whenever we can. A UW-Madison study found more than 40 percent of the employees on Wisconsin dairy farms were immigrants. Nearly 90 percent were from Mexico. Experts believe roughly half of immigrant workers in U.S. agriculture are here illegally. Wisconsin's dairy industry is pushing for immigration law reform. A new visa proposal would allow foreign workers to be employed on farms year-round. Any comprehensive bill would have to address the need for the dairy industry, which is a 365-day-a-year industry, to get some kind of workforce to help uh, milk the cows every single day. Current programs don't allow that. Brick says half of his eight Hispanic workers are U.S. citizens. However, the other half are here on a work visa, and those on a work visa have to return home to Mexico for up to six months every year, which Brick says is frustrating. There is a lot of skill that it's involved in and a lot of training, so we can't just plug somebody else in here and think that we're going to get as good a job with that next person stepping in. The Federation for American Immigration Reform, or FAIR, is opposed to creating an easier path to immigration. The group says there is no evidence to support claims the dairy industry can't find adequate labor. There's a difference between an actual shortage of workers and a shortage of workers who are willing to work for low wages and, and under you know difficult conditions. And I think you know that's where we need to, to, to ask ourselves: uh, Is there really a labor shortage, and why are they having trouble attracting workers? If there is, Ruark says what Fair has seen from Congress is lawmakers will do whatever it takes to get what farmers want. There's no debate. Um, about you know, what is a workable system, what is a fair wage, you know, why won't Americans uh, do these jobs. If that's true, shouldn't we be talking about that instead of simply brushing them aside and saying, well, that's too bad, we need guest worker programs? Wisconsin dairy industry officials say a guest worker program is needed to allow the industry to grow.